How many shares should you buy from one company when you are new to investing? Getting started in the investing game is a lot like learning to swim. You don't want to just dive into the deep end without first getting your feet wet in the shallow water. It's not about how many shares of one company you buy. It's about learning the strokes, or in investing terms, developing a strategy. First things first, let's talk diversification. This is the financial equivalent of not putting all your eggs in one basket. The real question you should be asking isn't how many, but how much. How much of your total investment capital should you place in a single stock? When you're just starting out, the goal is to minimize risk while you get the hang of market trends. Let's say you have $1,000 to start investing. A good rule of thumb is to spread that out. Sure, you could go all in on one company, but if that stock takes a nosedive, so does your portfolio. Not the warm welcome to investing you're looking for. Instead, consider buying just a few shares in multiple companies across different sectors. Doing so can give you a taste of the investing process while keeping your overall risk lower. Look for strong companies with a good track record, solid fundamentals, and a promising future. There's a bunch of research to do, and this is where living in Portland, Oregon actually has its perks. We've got coffee shops galore, perfect for holding up with your laptop and pouring over company financials until the barista knows your order by heart. To start, maybe allocate $200-$300 per company across a handful of different companies. Why this amount? It keeps you invested enough to care about tracking the stock's performance, but not so much that you'll be eating instant noodles for the next month if things go south. A big mistake new investors make is thinking that they need to buy round lots. That's Wall Street lingo for 100 shares. Not true, especially now with fractional shares offered by many brokerages. With fractional shares, you can invest in high-priced stocks with whatever dollar amount you are comfortable with. Remember, stocks are just one part of an investment portfolio. You've also got bonds, ETFs, and mutual funds to consider. Mix it up. Diversity is the spice of life and the bedrock of a solid investment strategy. And don't forget, Portland's weather is great for taking long walks. Plenty of time to listen to investing podcasts and soak up knowledge from financial gurus. Finally, never invest money you can't afford to lose. No matter how strong a company's prospect is, there's always the risk it won't pan out. Start small, think long-term, and stay informed. Investing isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Adjust your pace, diversify your investments, and you'll cross that finish line with a healthy portfolio.